Facts First presents 4,000 years ago, a meteor struck the Earth in Argentina. Before we get into this video, though, do us a favor and click that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Meteors often fall to the Earth. In most cases, they are extremely small and insignificant. In some cases, though, they are found and dug up. When the meteor is small, scientists don't typically waste their time on it. Meteors have been falling to Earth since the dawn of time. About 4,000 years ago, though, a meteor storm struck Earth, and now scientists in Argentina have found something epic. The scientists knew that extracting the meteor would not be easy. There was a shallow water table in the area where the groundwater quickly flooded the excavation site. The water level threatened to completely submerge this amazing discovery. The only way to get the meteor out of the ground was with heavy machinery. It was the official from a nearby town, Gancito, that lent the scientists the equipment. They were so grateful to the town officials that they named the meteorite Gancito. The scientists knew that the meteor was going to be heavy, but they never expected it to weigh as much as it actually did. When it was finally weighed, they found it came to over 30 tons. The scientists discovered that if the weight of the meteor was correct, it would be the second largest meteorite ever to be discovered. The largest is 80,000 years old, and it was 73 tons. It was found in Nambia in 1920, and it was named Hoba. Gansindo was much like Hoba, in fact. Gansindo is made up of 92.6% iron and 6.7% nickel. Before the Iron Age smelting was developed, our distant ancestors needed a source of iron, so they used meteorites like Gansindo. However, the ones they used were much smaller. This find, like many amazing finds, has not been without a little bit of controversy. There are a few scientists and researchers who claim that there was another meteorite called El Chaco which was discovered in the same area in 1980, and it was larger than Gansindo. The controversy is not just the weight of Gansindo, though. There are also questions about the weight of El Chaco. There are some people who claim that it weighs 37 tons. Others say it weighs 30 tons. And either way, Argentina now owns the planet's second and third largest meteorites. Scientists are sure that both of these space rocks came from the same Campo del Cielo. It's also known as the Field of Heaven. Both of these rocks rained down on the Earth around 4,000 years ago. This amazing event all those years ago deposited space matter over 520 square miles. This incredible meteor shower created over 40 craters. The largest crater is 260 feet across, 45 feet deep. Considering the low angles meteorites usually strike the Earth's surface, this type of thing is very rare and unusual. Scientists believe that the celestial shower started from just one meteor that weighed about 600 tons. Experts believe that while half of the meteorites burned up while it entered the Earth's atmosphere at 8,700 miles per hour, it separated into smaller meteorites on its way down. And this must have been an amazing sight for the people who actually lived in the area at the time. The stories that witnesses told were passed down from generation to generation for thousands of years. When the Spanish arrived in South America, they wanted to see if these tales were actually true, so they investigated the story and documented their findings. In 1576, the Spanish government sent an expedition team to explore the impact site that the stories spoke of. Captain de Miraval led the party. His expedition was incredibly successful, and they brought back large samples of iron, which they called Maison de Fierro, which in English translates to the large table of iron. In the 19th century, the impact site was explored again, in great detail. This time, they had more technology to help them out. Since that day, scientists began searching for and discovering meteorites of all shapes and sizes. Some weighed just a few pounds, others were incredibly large, like Gansindo. The amazing size of this particular meteorite brought attention by tourists and even meteorite traffickers. In 1992, an American meteorite trader named Robert Haig tried to remove the meteorite. Fortunately, the Argentinian government stopped him before he had a chance. 
Had Haig's smuggling mission been a success, he could have made millions of dollars. In fact, he could have been 10 to maybe even $12 million richer. Since that occurrence, for safety reasons and security, the research team has decided to stay at the site. They've set up camp right around that area. They're hoping that this will keep other traffickers at bay. If traffickers attempt to steal the meteorite, they'll see a large group of individuals that'll make sure that it doesn't happen. Because the meteorite was found in Argentina, it is legally the property of Argentina. If somebody were to steal it, they could be prosecuted for the theft. For years, we thought that Hoba was the largest meteorite ever to hit the Earth. With the discovery of Gancito, we found out that Hoba was not the largest. Only time will tell if one day we discover yet another meteorite that's even larger than this one. The Earth is a huge and vast place. There are plenty of places where the next meteorite could be found. These discoveries are incredible. They give us an idea of things that happened thousands of years ago. We can be thankful that Gancito has not ended up in the hands of meteorite traffickers because it's still in its resting place for anybody to see. There are scientists and researchers who go on expeditions all the time searching for meteorites. For many of these people, it's their career to take assignments to head out to search for these amazing pieces of rock and iron. It's the goal of these explorers to find the next meteorite that was by far the largest one on the planet. Until then, you can rest easy that Gancito is safe and protected, and it'll remain in Argentina where it belongs. Subscribe for more!